Yeah, hello everyone. Welcome to Akshara IIT Foundation. This is Srinivas from Mass Faculty. Let us go to the today's class. Yeah, today in transformation topic in trigonometry, let us continue the problems. Okay. So I think in our previous class we discussed up to three problems, right? Yeah, two problems are completed. So let us try to finish the problems from third one onwards. Let us see this. Yeah, question number three. That is two into 1 minus 2 sin square theta, 2 into 1 minus 2 sin square theta into cos 4 theta. So, we need to identify this value. And in multiples topic, we have learned the formula for cos 2 theta. Cos 2 theta having 3 formulas, 3 or 4 different formulas. Cos square theta minus sin square theta, 1 minus 2 sin square theta, or 2 cos square theta minus 1, okay, or else 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta, whatever. Now, while you are observing this one, 1 minus 2 sin square theta is a formula for cos 2 theta. So, in the place of 1 minus 2 sin square theta, I can write cos 2 theta, and this is cos 4 theta. Now, just observe this one, it is in the form of 2 cos cos, where it is coming according to the transformation cos plus cos will give you the 2 cos cos ok. So, this is nothing but cos plus cos cos 2 theta plus 4 theta plus cos 2 theta minus 4 theta ok na. So, 2 theta plus 4 theta becomes 6 theta plus cos minus 2 theta in cos negative theta also become cos 2 theta. So, we can take that cos 2 theta. So, cos 6 theta plus cos 2 theta is our required answer. So, let us go to the next problem. Yeah, the problem number 4 is cos 12 degrees plus cos 84 degrees. Cos 12 degrees plus cos 84 degrees plus cos 132 degrees and the last one cos 156 degrees ok. Yeah. So, I am leaving first two terms as it is that is cos 12 degrees plus cos 84 degrees and these are somewhat bigger values. So, 132 I am going to write as 90 plus 42, 90 plus 42 becomes 132. In same way, cos 56 I can write 90 plus 66. 90 plus 66 is nothing but cos 56. 90 plus 156, no? Right. So, that is equal to first two terms are in the format of transformations cos plus cos. Cos plus cos formula 2 cos cos. So, I am writing this one 2 cos cos. So, first addition by 2 and subtraction. So, 12 minus 84 by 2. Okay, 2 cos cos formula. Now, 90 plus, 90 plus which quadrant? Second quadrant. Second quadrant cos ratio becomes negative. Whenever it is 90 degrees, cos becomes sin. So, this is minus sin 42 degrees. Okay. Now, this one same 90 plus second quadrant cos ratio negative whenever it is 90 cos ratio becomes sin ratio sin 66 degrees ok. Now, this one 12 plus 84 is 96. So, cos 96 by 2. So, what is the value of 96 by 2? It is nothing but 48 cos 48 degrees. Now, this one cos 12 minus 84 is not possible, 84 minus 12 is nothing but 72, 72 by 2, actually minus 72, minus 72 by 2 is 36, ok, whenever in cos negative theta also becomes the positive value, so cos 36 degrees, ok, na? now I am taking a common of minus symbol for both of them, now it will be sin 42 degrees plus sin 66 degrees. Now, I can use the formula for sin plus sin. What is the sin plus sin formula? 2 sin cos. What is the formula? 2 sin cos. 
So first addition 40 plus 60, 100, 108 by 2 is 54. So sin 54 degrees, 2 sin cos. Subtraction 42 minus 66 is not possible. 66 minus 42, it will be 24, 24 nothing but 12. 24 by 2 is 12. Okay, no? Cos 48, cos 36, sin 54, cos 12. So let us write that. 2 cos 48 degrees cos 36 minus cos 36 degrees minus 2 sin 54 degrees and cos 12 degrees sin 54 and cos 12 degrees. Okay, let us take the next step. Now, any common terms are there here? 48, uh, right. While you are observing these two terms, cos 36 is sin 54, cos 36 and sin 54, here cos 36 we can write as 19 minus 54, 19 minus 54, 36 or sin 54, 54 degrees we can write as 90 minus 36, okay. Now first term I am writing as it is 2 cos 48 and cos 36 degrees minus 2 sin 54 I am going to write as 90 minus 36. 90 minus 36 is 54. Okay, cos 12 degrees. So 90 minus 36 according to the complementary angle sin 90 minus theta becomes cos theta. Sin 90 minus theta becomes cos theta. So it will be cos 36. Now here also we have cos 36. Now I am taking 2 cos 36 as common term. That means from the first term we have cos 48 remains, from the second term cos 12 is remains. Okay, na? so that is cos 48 minus cos 12 degrees. Okay, that is equals to 2 cos 36 degrees. Now again we can apply that uh, cos minus cos is nothing but 2 sin sin or minus 2 sin sin. Cos minus cos is nothing but minus 2 sin sin. So, first addition 48 plus 12 is 60, 60 by 2 is nothing but 30, 48 minus 12 is 36, 36 by 2 is 18 degrees. Just identify the values here, cos 36 value is root 5 minus 1 by 4, okay. And this minus 2 I am writing as it is. Sin 30 degrees value is 1 by 2. Sin 30 degrees, oh sorry, 60 by 2 means 30 degrees. 30 degrees value is 1 by 2. So numerator to denominator to cancel. Sin 18 degrees. So eight, sin 18 degrees value, let us write, sorry. Cos 36 value is root 5 plus 1 by 4. That is equals to 2 into root 5 plus 1 by 4 into this is minus I am writing this minus print sin 18 degrees value root 5 minus 1 by 4 okay na? 2 table in 4 2 times cancel the minus symbol as it is minus symbol only so while you are observing the remaining term the numerator part is in the form of a plus b into a minus b nothing but a square minus b square that means a square minus b square. So, root 5 whole square minus 1 square and denominator 2 into 4, 8. So, that is equals to root 5 square. Square root cancel, answer 5. 1 square value 1. 5 minus 1 is 4. That is minus 4 by 8. That is equals to minus 1 by 2. After cancel it, both of them in 4 table. So, answer is minus 1 by 2. Okay, now please follow this and let us go to the next problem. Problem number 5. The fifth question is given that sin 70 degrees plus cos 40 degrees. Sin 70 degrees plus cos 40 degrees by cos 70 plus sin 40. Cos 70 degrees plus sin 40 degrees. Now, while you are observing the numerator and denominator, both are having the different ratios. 
But in transformation formulas, we have discussed that formulas for same ratio, sin plus sin, sin minus sin, or cos plus cos, cos minus cos. Okay, na? So I am just converting cos ratio as sin 50 degrees. Can I write cos 40 degrees is equals to sin 50 degrees? Yes, by using the complementary angle or complementary angle, cos 40 degrees I can write as 90 minus 50. So cos 90 minus theta becomes sin theta. Same concept I apply. So both of them I am converting into sin ratio. So denominator same sin 40 I can write as cos 50 degrees. So numerator is in the form of sin plus sin. Denominator is in the form of cos plus cos. Sin plus sin is 2 sin sin. Sorry, 2 sin cos. 2 sin cos. 70 plus 50, 120 by 2. Cos 70 minus 50, 20, 20 by 2. So first addition, next is subtraction. So here also cos plus cos formula, 2 cos cos. Same way, 70 plus 50, 120 by 2. 70 minus 50 is 20, 20 by 2. Cos 20 by 2, cos 20 by 2, same terms can be cancelled. Now numerator 2, denominator 2 cancel. So this value 60 times, this value 60 times, sin 60 degrees by cos 60 degrees is nothing but tan 60 degrees. And the tan 60 degrees value is root 3 from the trigonometry value table. Okay, now. So please note that. We'll go to the next problem. Yeah. The sixth problem is is given that a plus b plus c condition is given a plus b plus c value is 180 degrees. A plus b plus c value is 180 degrees. Then we need to identify the value of tan a plus b by 2. We need to identify the value of tan a plus b by 2. Okay, no? now I am writing this one a plus b equals to 180 minus c. A plus b equals to 180 minus c. I am just transposing c towards r hexes. Now divided by 2 both sides then it will be a plus b by 2 equals to 90 minus c by 2. Because 180 by 2 is 90, c by 2 is as it is c by 2. Apply tan both sides. Apply tan both sides. Then it will be tan a plus b by 2 equals to tan 90 minus c by 2. So according to the complementary angle concept, tan 90 minus theta becomes cot theta. So this will be cot c by 2. This is our required answer. Okay, no? So let us go to the next problem. Yeah. Problem number 7. Okay. Now, x value is given that x is equals to sin alpha plus sin beta and y is equals to cos alpha plus cos beta. We need to identify the value of x by y. We need to find the value of x by y. Now, here only I am doing the division here x by y. Yeah, so numerator is in the form of sin plus sin, denominator is in the form of cos plus cos. Sin plus sin formula 2 sin cos. 2 sin cos. First addition alpha plus beta by 2. Next alpha minus beta by 2. Same way cos plus cos formula 2 cos cos. 2 cos cos. So first addition, next subtraction. So both of them cancel cos alpha minus beta by 2, cos alpha minus beta by 2 cancel. Numerator 2, denominator 2 cancel. Sin by cos with the same angle, it will be tan. So tan alpha plus beta by 2. So x by y value is tan alpha plus beta by 2. Okay. Now let us go to the next problem.
the eighth one is given that a plus b plus c condition is 180 degrees then sin 2a plus sin 2b plus sin 2c very important question that is a plus b plus c value 180 degrees we need to find sin 2a plus sin 2b plus sin 2c okay sin 2a sin 2b plus sin 2c now from the first two terms sin plus sin formula transformations first formula sin plus sin becomes 2 sin cos so that will be 2 sin cos plus sin 2c third term this means third term is remaining as sin 2c as it is now first addition 2a plus 2b by 2 and 2a minus 2b by 2 so from the numerator if you take two common so numerator 2 denominator 2 cancel here also numerator 2 denominator 2 cancel this will be 2 sin a plus b into cos a minus b plus sin 2c third term as it is okay na? now sin a plus b a plus b according to the condition we can write a plus b is equals to 180 minus c a plus b equals to 180 minus c so i can write in the place of a plus b 180 minus c and cos a minus b cos a minus b plus sin 2c okay no? now cos 180 minus c 180 minus second quadrant sin ratio is positive whenever it is 180 degree sin ratio remains sin ratio it will be 2 sin c and cos a minus b now third term sin 2c the sin 2c i am writing the formula for sin 2 theta multiple angle formula sin 2 theta formula for 2 sin theta cos theta same way sin 2c formula 2 sin c cos c okay na? now from the first term and second term sin 2 sin c is a common term 2 sin c is appearing as a common term now i am writing the 2 sin c as a common term here what are the remaining from first term first term cos a minus b plus second term cos c okay now cos plus cos formula transformation third formula cos plus cos 2 cos cos so i can write this one 2 cos cos so first add a minus b plus c by 2 a minus b minus c by 2 now see here a and c are positives b value negative so in the place of a plus c i can write 180 minus c I can write 180 minus sorry 180 minus b that is equals to 2 sin c into 2 cos in the place of a and c I can write 180 minus b it is already negative b so minus b minus b becomes minus 2b divided by 2 same way here cos value if you take minus and minus b and c are both are negative terms if you take minus common here then b plus c will be there so in the place of b plus c we can write 180 minus a we can write 180 minus a so let us go to the next problem now that is sorry, next step 2 sin c into 2 cos 180 minus 2b by 2 this 2 divided by 180 gives 90 2b gives b so 90 minus b cos 90 minus b and second one cos 180 minus in the place of 180 minus c we can write 90 minus 90 sorry 180 minus a in the place of b plus c we can write 180 minus a so minus a here minus 2a that means 2a minus 180 will be let me write one more step in the place of 180 yeah, sorry, b plus c i can write 180 minus c okay na? so that is equals to here 2 into 2 4 sin c 
and cos 90 minus theta becomes sin theta. So, cos 90 minus b becomes sin b. And this one cos, if you simplify this, a minus 180 plus a, because minus into minus become plus. So, divided by 2. That equals to 4 sin c sin b into a plus a 2a, 2a minus 1, that means divided by 2 from both of them, it will be a minus 90 degrees. A minus 90 or 90 minus a, both are same in the cos ratio because cos negative theta becomes the cos positive theta. So, this is also we can write cos 90 minus theta, cos 90 minus theta becomes sin theta, so sin a. Write in order that is equals to 4 sin a, sin b and sin c. So, at the condition of a plus b plus c equals to 180 degrees, sin 2a plus sin 2b plus sin 2c value becomes 4 sin a, sin b, sin c. Okay, na? Yeah, please note this. We will go for the next problem. Problem number 9. Yeah, ninth question. We need to find the value of tan 5x, tan 3x and tan 2x. Tan 5x into tan 3x into tan 2x value we should find. So, for finding this one, we are, I am going to write that 5, 3, 2. That means 3 plus 2 becomes 5. That means 3x plus 2x becomes 5x. I can write 3x plus 2x become 5x, right? Now, apply tan both sides. Apply tan theta or tan ratio both sides. Then it will be tan 3x plus 2x equals to tan 5x. Now, left hand side is in the form of tan a plus b. Tan a plus b formula tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b. So, tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b. That is equals to tan 5x. Okay, no? now just I am transposing the denominator to right hand side, then the denominator will be multiplied that way. That means it will be tan 5x into 1 minus tan 3x tan 2x. Now, right hand side part multiplies of these two terms. Tan 5x into 1 is tan 5x minus tan 3x into tan 2x into tan 5x. Okay, no? But according to the problem, we need that right hand side that to only tan 3x, tan 2x, tan 5x. So, this one transpose this side, it will be tan 3x, tan 2x and tan 5x equals to these two transpose the side that means tan 5x minus tan 3x minus tan 2x. So, this is our required answer. Okay, no? So, please note that we will go to the next problem. <coughs> Question number 10. Yeah, that is sin alpha plus sin beta value is A. Given that sin alpha plus sin beta value is A. Next, cos alpha plus cos beta value B. Cos alpha plus cos beta value is B. We need to find out the value of cos alpha plus beta. Which one? Cos, yeah, alpha plus beta. This type of model we know already previously. This one, I am going to divide like this. That means for numerator, I can apply the transformation on sine for sine ratios, denominators, transformation formula on cos ratios. I can apply. So, sine plus sine ratio, what is the sine plus sine ratio? 2 sine cos. 
2 sin cos. So, this will be alpha plus beta by 2, this will be alpha minus beta by 2. Here, cos plus cos, cos plus cos formula 2 cos cos. So, 2 cos cos alpha minus beta by 2. So, both of the cancel here alpha plus beta by 2 that is equals to A by B. Now, numerator 2, denominator 2 also cancel. Sin and cos both are having the same, uh, same angle. So, we can write sin by cos ratio will be the tan ratio. Alpha plus beta by 2 is A by B. So, actually what we have to find, we should find the value of cos alpha plus beta. But we got uh, alpha plus beta by 2 value. Now, here I am using the formula for cos 2 theta. Cos 2 theta is equals to 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta. Okay. If you take 2 theta in this in its formula, the theta becomes so 2 theta becomes theta. Here also 2 theta becomes theta. Same way, if we take cos alpha plus beta, in its formula gives alpha plus beta by 2. Same way, I am writing cos alpha plus beta equals to 1 minus tan square alpha plus beta by 2 by 1 plus tan square alpha plus beta by 2. Is it clear? Yeah. So, let us try to simplify this. That is equals to cos alpha plus beta equals to 1 minus tan alpha plus beta by 2 value is A by B. This one. A by B substitute tan square means A by B whole square. So, divided by 1 plus A by B whole square. So, after simplifying this one will be 1 by 1 minus A square by B square and this one be 1 plus a square by b square. Now, simplify this one, b square minus a square by b square plus a square. So, both the denominators are b square can be cancelled here. After that, remaining value is b square minus a square by b square plus a square. So, please look into it. Let us move to the problem number 11. Yeah, 11th problem that is sin alpha plus sin beta value, sin alpha plus sin beta value is minus 21 by 65 and cos alpha plus cos beta value minus 27 by 65. Then cos alpha minus beta by 2 value we should find. We have to find cos alpha minus beta by 2. Okay. Now, for this, if you do the same thing like that, what is the answer we got here? Same sin alpha plus sin beta by cos alpha plus cos beta. If you do division, we will get alpha plus beta by 2. But actually, we should get alpha minus beta by 2. Okay. Na? So, for that, I am doing that squaring the both of the equations. Squaring the equation 1, that means first equation, squaring the second equation. Okay. So, let me try to squaring, squaring the equations. Now, first one if you square LHS spot is in the form of A plus B whole square formula. So, A plus B whole square formula means A square plus B square plus 2AB, 2 sin alpha sin beta. And squaring of minus 21 by 65 minus 21. 21 square is 441 and 65 square, right? 65 square only as it is. Okay, we can multiply later. Now, second equation squaring, it is also in the form of A plus B whole square formula. So, A square means cos square alpha, B square means cos square beta plus 2 cos alpha cos beta. This gives that. 27 square by 65 square. 27 square is 729 by 65 square. Now, I am going to add both of them. If I am adding both of them, it will be 
sin square alpha plus cos square alpha. First two terms, sin square alpha plus cos square alpha. Second two terms, sin square beta plus cos square beta. Okay. Now third one, two sin alpha sin beta, two cos alpha cos beta. I am taking two common. It can be written cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta. Or sin alpha sin beta plus cos alpha cos beta. Anything, but according to my convenience, I have written cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta. Here add both of them. 441 by 65 square plus 721 by 65 square. Okay, now so both of the having same denominator, we can directly add the numerators. So what is the denominator? 65 square. 65 square I can write as 65 into 65. Okay, na? So 700 plus 400, 1100, 1140 plus 2060, 1160, 1170. So 1170. <coughs> now this one, sin square theta plus cos square theta according to the trigonometric identity. First one answer is 1. Second one answer also 1. So 1 plus 1 answer will be 2. 2 plus the bracket value cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta is a compound angle cos alpha minus beta. Nothing but cos A minus B formula cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. So same formula we apply this will be cos alpha minus beta. Alpha minus beta. Okay now. But actually we should find the value of cos alpha minus beta by 2 we should get. So I am considering this cos alpha minus beta as formula for cos 2 theta. If you compare with cos 2 theta, cos 2 theta formula is nothing but 2 cos square theta minus 1. In the same way, I am writing this one cos alpha minus beta, I can write 2 cos square theta by 2 minus 1. Okay, na? So 2 minus 1 answer value 1, 2 minus 1 answer value 1, 1 plus 2 into 2, 4, 4 cos square alpha minus beta by 2. That is equals to answer is 1000. So before that, let me try to cancel 5 table here 13 times. Here 5 table, 5 twos are 5 threes are 15, 5 fours. So 234 by 65 into 13. So let us try to change this 234 by 65 into 13. Next step 4 cos square alpha minus beta by 2 equals to 234 by 65 into 13 minus 1. Plus 1 I am going to transpose the side it will be minus 1. Okay, so we should multiply 65 thirteens, 65 thirteens, 3 table, 3 five, 15, 1, 18 plus 1, 19, 1, 65 or 65, 840. So this will be 234 minus 845 by 845. Okay, now. So this is only cos square alpha minus beta by 2 4 times. This 4 I am transposing this side, it is going to divide. So subtract both of them, 5 minus 4 1, 4 minus 3 1 and 8 minus 2 is 6, minus 611 by 845 into 4, 230, right, 5 table, 5 twos, 5 threes. So any cancellation here, I am going to check here 3 table 4 plus 1 7. Okay, let us try to apply that cos square root, uh, square is there cos square. When you transpose that side, it will be root. So cos alpha minus beta by 2 is root over minus 611 by 845 into 4. That is equals to 611 
So try to cancel this one. So which table it is going on? Yeah, eight plus four, twelve, twelve plus five. So let us try to cancel in seven table this one. Eight forty five in seven table. Seven ones are seven twos. It is not going. Yeah, actually, a small mistake we did here. This is two into cos alpha minus beta. That means two cos square alpha beta. That means two cos square theta minus one. This two into two we have to multiply. This will be minus two. Then plus two minus two will be cancel. Okay, na? So only four will be remain here. Okay. Yeah. So this won't be. Only four will be directly. So that is two hundred and thirty-four by sixty-five into thirteen by four. So try to cancel in two table here two times, two elevens and thirteen times. So square root of one hundred and thirteen by sixty-five into two into thirteen. Okay. So root over one thirteen. Let us see the options we have. This one sixty five. I can write as thirteen fives. Thirteen fives are sixty five into two into thirteen. So in the square root, when you are observing two thirteens at a time, we can write one thirteen outside. Into root ten. Okay, na? Yeah. So minus root three are cancelled here. Or directly without a single root will write. Okay. Single root. One hundred thirteen by. Five into thirteen to four. Yeah, two times. Yeah. So thirteen table actually we have cancelled here nine times. Thirteen table exactly nine times. So this is root nine. Root nine is nothing but three by root one thirteen. So according to the Formula that means the theta location alpha minus beta is lies between pi and three pi, so it will give the cos ratio is negative. So answer will be minus three by root over one thirty. Okay, please note that. So let us go to the next problem. So problem number twelve. So a plus b plus is equals to pi. The condition is given. A plus B plus C value is given pi. Pi is nothing but 180 degrees. Pi value is 180 degrees. Okay, then we need to find that sine 2a plus sine 2b plus sine 2c divided by cos a plus cos b plus cos c minus one. Okay. But while you are observing here, sine two a plus sine two b plus sine two c. Let us see here. Yeah, sine two a plus sine two b plus sine two c value at a plus b plus is equal to one eighty degrees. We got the answer as four sine a sine b sine c. We got the answer as four sine a sine b sine c. Here also the same condition. A plus b plus c value one eighty degrees. And sine two a sine two b sine two c value is we can write sine four sine a sine b sine that is equals to cos a plus cos b plus cos c. For solving this problem, we are going to use trial and error method. I am using all the values. That means a plus b plus c is pi. That means each one a value, b value, c value. I am directly substituting sixty degrees value. So let me check the 60 degrees value. 
for sin 60 degrees sin 60 degrees value is root 3 by 2 b also 60 degrees so it is also root 3 by 2 and third one also root 3 by 2 so denominator for numerator for cancel 3 into 3 is the root 3 into root 3 3 3 root 3 by 2 and denominator is cos 60 degrees 1 by 2 and cos 60 degrees 1 by 2 cos 60 degrees 1 by 2 minus 1 so half plus half becomes 1 1 minus 1 is cancel 1 by 2 in denominator when you bring to the numerator it will be 2 so answer is 3 root 3 so from the same answer we should get by the options let us go through the options take a b c values are 60 degrees i am choosing the first option one by one i am going so first option is 8 cos a by 2 cos b by 2 cos c by 2 so if this answer is given 3 root 3 if answer is given 3 root 3 it will be a sortable answer for that so i am taking cos 6 degrees 60 by 2 is 30 degrees cos 30 degrees cos 30 degrees okay so that is equals to 8 into cos 30 degrees value is root 3 by 2 second one also root 3 by 2 and third one also root 3 by 2 denominator 2 into 2 into 2 become 8 the numerator it cancel root 3 into root 3 is 3 3 root 3 so exactly first option is sortable for us so let us go to the next problem problem number 13 so this one also same condition is given a plus b plus is equals to 180 so same condition same take the values of a b c value 60 degrees and substitute in rh lh spot and check go through the options you will get the correct answer so choose that one so try by your own so let us go to the next problem problem number 14th one yeah a plus c is equals to 2b the condition is changed just this time a plus c value is 2b it seems so we need to find out the value of cos c minus cos a by sin a minus sin c cos c minus cos a by sin a minus sin c okay na? so cos minus cos formula what minus 2 sin sin minus 2 sin sin so if you take minus value first addition second subtraction as it is so c minus a by 2 so divided by sin minus sin formula 2 cos sin 2 cos sin both are cancelled here minus will be there sin by cos value is nothing but tan c plus a by 2 so we know that the c plus a or a plus c is nothing but 2b so we can write tan in the place of c plus a we can write 2b 2b by 2 2 2 cancel is nothing but minus tan b okay, no? so in the place of c plus a i just substitute the value of 2b because of the given condition so 2 2 cancel answer is b so let us go to the next problem so problem number 15 The 15th question is tan a minus tan b value x tan a minus tan b value is x and cot b minus cot a cot b minus cot a value y we need to find that cot a minus b cot a minus b value like if you have the tan a minus b value formula tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a tan b same like cot, cot a minus b value also we can find but here we will get that cot because tan a I can write 1 by cot a tan b I can write 1 by cot b that is equals to x now like LCM you do cot b minus cot a by cot a cot b that is equals to y ok no? now transpose or substitute in the place of cot b minus cot a cot b minus cot a value is y so oh, sorry it is x no yeah cot b minus cot a value is y so y by x is equals to cot a cot b okay no? now try to find the answer cot which one 
cot a minus b value. Yeah, cot a minus b value, write the formula, cot a minus b is equals to cot b cot a minus 1 by cot b minus cot a. This is the formula for cot a minus b. Okay. So, in the place of cot b cot a, we can find the value y by x or we can substitute the value y by x y by x minus 1 divided by cot b minus cot a cot b minus cot a value is y simplify this y x into 1 x by x y so this is our required answer so x minus or y minus x by x y oh, so here plus will come cot b cot a plus 1 plus plus so right separate la option is given or uh, not given so y by x y plus x by x y so y by cancel it will be 1 by x x x cancel it will be 1 by y so the required answer is 1 by x plus 1 by y please note that let us go to the next problem yeah 16 to 1 1 minus cos a 1 minus cos a plus cos b minus cos a my a plus b by 1 plus cos a minus cos b minus cos a plus b. Okay. Now here observe that 1 minus cos a, I am writing that cos a is a formula, consider cos a as cos 2a. Cos 2a formula is 1 minus 2 sin square a. 1 minus 2 sin square a. And for these two, cos minus cos formula I can apply cos minus cos formula what 2 sin sin or minus 2 sin sin so b plus a plus b by 2 and sin a plus b minus b by 2 so second one i, I interchange that's why i can remove that minus in front of 2 divided by this one also 1 plus cos a this time i can write 2 cos a square a by 2 minus 1 okay right? cos 2a means 2 sin square a, okay, na? 2 cos square a, but a is no, so a by 2 will get. If you take minus common, this will be in the form of cos plus cos. Now, I am writing the formula cos plus cos 2 cos cos. So, b plus a plus b by 2, b minus a minus b by 2, right. So, here, plus 1 minus 1 cancel minus into minus become plus 2 sin square a by 2 this one plus 2 sin this one a by 2 plus b because b plus b 2b and just splitting both of them a by 2 plus 2b by 2 2b by 2 answer will be b and the second one sin a by 2 after plus b minus b cancel we will get sin a by 2 so denominator also yeah, plus 1 minus 1 cancels. This will be 2 cos square a by 2 minus 2. This one cos a by 2 plus b and cos a by 2. Okay, now. Now, I am just identifying the value like 2 sin square a by 2 here sin a by 2 and just taking common term as sin a by 2. Take 2 sin a by 2 as a common term in numerator. Still, I will remain the, from the first term sin a by 2 will be remain. Plus second term sin a by 2 plus b is remain. And the denominator, I am taking 2 cos a by 2 as a common term. From the first term, I can write cos a by 2 minus this one cos a by 2 plus b. Okay, na? So, denominator 2, numerator 2 cancel, sin a by 2 by cos a by 2 will be tan a by 2. So, that is equals to tan a by 2 into, yeah, again sin plus sin formula here, cos minus cos formula we can write. Sin plus sin formula 2 sin sin, so 2 sin cos and same way cos minus cos formula 2 sin sin cos minus cos formula 2 sin sin or minus 2 sin sin okay 
But in the place of a by two, we have oh sorry. In the place of a, a by two here, a by two plus b. So first addition, a by two plus a by two, a plus b by two. Second one minus a by two minus a by two minus b by two. Now here also same. So a by two plus a by two plus b by two. And this one, a by two minus a by two minus b whole by two. All are into symbols only. So first term as it is, two sine two sine cancel. That is equals to tan a by two into this one cos and this one sine. Plus a by two minus a by two cancel. Plus a by two minus a by two cancel. Then it is cos minus b by two. In cos, negative terms also become positive terms. Like this one, sine minus b by two. Sine negative terms become negative only. So this negative I am going to write front. This is tan a by two. Cos b by two by sine b by two is nothing but cot b by two. So it is minus tan a by two into cot b by two. That is our required answer. Please note that. Okay. Let us go to the next problem. So problem number this is seventeenth one. Yeah, sine y plus sine five y plus sine nine y by cos y plus cos five y plus cos nine y. Yeah, first you take these two, first one and last one. Here also first one, last one. Apply the formula for sine plus sine tra transformation formula, cos plus cos transformation formula. Okay, now this one you try by your own. Okay, now so because these are all terms, these are the, this type of problems we have discussed until then. Okay, so please try at your uh, at your home right now. So let us go to the eighteenth problem. Eighteenth problem is x y z y z plus z x. The value is given one, and we need to identify the value of X by one plus x square plus y by one plus y square plus z by one plus z square. So this value we should find. But if you take directly, you won't get the answer like this. So let us try to take x value as tan alpha by two, y value tan beta by two, z value tan gamma by two. Take x value as tan alpha by two, y value as tan beta by two. And z value as tan gamma by two. Substitute in this equation, we'll get tan alpha by two by one plus tan square alpha by two. And this one, tan beta by two by one plus tan square beta by two. Same way, third one also we can write tan gamma by two by one plus tan square gamma by two. But while you're <coughs> observing this one, it is looking like somewhat sine two a formula. Sine two a formula what two tan a by one plus tan square a, tan a by one plus tan square a, okay na? So tan a by one plus tan two tan a two must be there two not there so two multiply and divided by two for every tan. Third term also multiply and divided by then it will be tan gamma by two by one plus tan square gamma by two. Now. For all of them, denominator one by two, I am taking as a common term here. Then two tan alpha by two by one plus tan square alpha by two is a formula for tan alpha. Oh, sorry, sine alpha. Sine two alpha will give two tan alpha by one by one plus tan square alpha. But alpha by two, so we have to write sine alpha. Sine beta. Sine gamma. Now here you apply that sine plus sine formula, sine plus sine, two sine cos formula. You can apply, then you will get that answer. Sine plus sine, two sine cos, two sine cos, and sine gamma as it is third one. So this one addition by two, alpha plus beta by two, alpha minus beta by two. Okay na? Uh, this one you can take as gamma. But here you should use the condition alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to 180 degrees. Then only it will get it. Okay. So in the place of 
alpha plus beta i can write 180 minus gamma 180 minus gamma by 2 so 90 minus gamma by 2 sin 90 minus theta becomes cos theta so it will be cos gamma by 2 okay na? now this one cos alpha minus beta by 2 as it is cos alpha minus beta by 2 as it is now this one i can write 2 sin theta cos theta so 2 sin alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2 sorry gamma by 2 2 sin gamma by 2 cos gamma by 2 2 cos gamma by 2 you can take common then it will be 1 by 2 into 2 cos gamma by 2 common what is remaining cos alpha minus beta by 2 plus cos gamma by 2 2 to cancel cos gamma by 2 will be remains when you simplify that you will get cos a cos b or cos alpha cos beta that is 4 yeah after cancelling this one Two will be there. Two cos alpha cos beta cos gamma. So just substitute the values in the place of alpha value, right? And we need to find out the values. So square roots also given, right? Yeah. If it is given that we are getting the answer for two cos alpha cos beta cos gamma, now we have to go through the options. Again, go through the options one by one. Exactly, third option will be sortable. You try that one. Let us go to the next problem. Yeah, 19th question the value of sin 78, sin 18, cos 32. First, to find the value of sin minus sin ratio, and then cos 32 you can write as 90 plus 42 degrees. Okay, now then you simplify that according to the problem number, I think 7, I think so. Until then, we have discussed this type of model previously, right? Yeah, fourth problem, exercise one, fourth problem, you try like that, you will get the answer, okay? So, 18 and 19 like that only. 20th one, so A plus B plus C value is given 270 degrees this time. The condition is 270 degrees and cos 2A, cos 2B, cos 2C plus 4 sin A, 4 sin B, sorry, 4 sin A into sin B into sin C. I am just taking cos 2A plus cos 2b plus cos 2c value okay na? here condition is different now still will be given the problem end what is that 4 sin a sin b sin c 4 sin a sin b sin c now i am just neglecting the last term so just find the answer for the first cos plus cos 2 cos cos directly i am writing 2 cos a plus b a minus b because 2a plus 2b by 2, 2 common, 2 to cancel, a plus b remains, same like that. Here this one cos 2c. Okay, no? now in the place of a plus b, we can write 270 minus c. 270 minus which quadrant? Third quadrant. Third quadrant, cos value negative or positive? Negative. Minus 2. Whenever 270, it will be sin, sin c. Minus 2 sin c. This one cos a minus b as it is. Plus cos 2c formula, you can write in the terms of. Uh, sin 1 minus 2 sin square c 1 minus 2 sin square c okay now this one i am writing friend and remaining the uh, remaining two terms are in the form of minus terms minus 2 minus 2 now i am taking minus 2 sin c common then what will be there cos a minus b value and plus sin c value again sin c you can convert it into 180 minus uh, 270 minus a plus b so cos a minus b as it is plus sin c you can write sin 270 minus a plus b 270 which quadrant third quadrant cos uh, sin value becomes negative sin value becomes negative whenever 270 sin become cos so you can write cos a plus b here this one cos a minus b so front term is 1 minus 2 sin c as it is again cos minus cos formula minus 2 sin sin minus 2 sin sin first addition next subtraction so a plus b a minus b so 2a by 2 answer a will be there here subtraction means plus a minus a cancel minus b will be there yeah minus 2b by 2 so 2 to cancel minus a uh, sin minus b is nothing but minus sin b here minus here minus become plus 
this will be 1 minus 4 sin A sin B sin C. But I am taking half of the problem. It continues that plus 4 sin A sin B sin C. Here minus 4 sin A sin B sin C. Both cancel answer will be 1 to minus. Okay. So, last two problems are there. So, same like this model only. So, try to solve the answer for that. Okay. Thank you one and all. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.